Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I'm going to start question number five of exercise five a. Solve each of the following equations. When we can make squares of first and third term, we can apply formula. But if we cannot, then we have to factorize it by splitting the its middle term. So we are going to solve this equation by splitting its middle term. as we can't make 21 i square okay for splitting the middle term first we have to find its factor how to find the factors multiply the coefficients of first term and the last term we have 1 as a coefficient of first term and 21 as a coefficient of last term when we multiply 1 with 21 we got 21 as answer so we have to find the factors of this answer so when we factorize this 21 first divide it with 3 3 7 is 21 7 comes only in its own table it's it's a prime number so 7 1 is 7 our factors are 3 and 7 now how to use this these factors after finding the factors we have to look at the sign of the last term if the sign of the last term is plus we have to split this term by addition and if the sign of the last term is minus we have to split this term by subtraction here we have a plus sign we have to split this term by addition we have only one pair of factors here so we are going to add these two factors now i am going to split this middle term in its factors first put a bracket and add these two factors as we have to do addition here so 3 plus 7 and put this variable outside the bracket when we put this variable outside the bracket it will multiply it with both the terms so plus 21 here and we are not going to change the first and the last term but only split the middle term okay that's why i'm calling it splitting middle terms when we multiply this s with this bracket so we will get 3s plus 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 3s and 7s plus 21 when we split any bracket we have to recheck it what is the method of checking we have to add these two splitted terms if it gives again the same as we have in question we are doing a correct solution so when we add this plus 3s and plus 7s it gives plus 10s so we are doing it correctly once our middle term is splitted correctly we have to take commons between these two pairs we have four terms we make two pairs here first pair is this and second pair is this we have to take common here when we take common from these two terms we can take s as a common again as common we are left with s here and when we take s common from here this term we are left with 3 here we we are taking 7 as common so 7 we are left with s here and when we take 7 common from 21 it means we are dividing 21 with 7 and our answer will come here 21 divided by 7 3 here okay you have to check again that these two brackets must be same if you fail to make these two brackets same it means you are doing a wrong solution uh, we have to write this same bracket once this same bracket gives our first factor of equation and our other factors will be made with these two terms s plus 7 here equals to 0 now as we have uh, as we have our two factors here these uh, s plus 3 and s plus 7 are our two factors by applying zero product property we have to equate both of them with zero so s plus 3 equals to 0 or s plus 7 is also equals to 0 when we solve from this side we will get s equals to minus 3 and from this side we will get s equals to minus 7 so our answer is s is equals to minus 3 or 
minus 7 here. In part B of question number 5, as we have 63 here, we can't make 63 a square. So we are applying splitting the middle term for factorization. First we have to multiply the coefficients of first and the last term. 1 here and 63 here. 1 multiplied by 63 we will get 63 here. So the, uh, we have to find factors for this answer. So factorize 63 here. First divide with 3 we get 21. Then again divide with 3 we get 7 here. 7 ones are 7. So our factors are 3, 3 and 7. Okay, when we ha have more than two factors, what we are going to do? We have to find factors by making pairs. Our first pair, take this number separately, 3, and these multiply these two numbers. 3 sevens are 21 here. So, what you will get? 63. Okay, our second factor will be made by take these two numbers and make this this numbers uh, and take this number separately 3 3 is a 9 multiply by 7 also gives 63 in this way we, we can find our possible factors 3 21 is a 63 and 9 7 is a 63 again come towards the equation as i have told you earlier that once you got the factors what you have to do next see the sign of last term we have a plus sign here it means we have to split this term by adding factors okay so what what is our possible pair of factors that we can add and we will get a 16 here okay so if we add 3 and 21 what we will get we will get 24 but when we add these uh, when we add 9 and 7 we will get a 16 here this so i am choosing this pair of factor to split the middle term first write the first term then put this minus and this variable minus t outside the bracket and inside the bracket you have to add these two factors so 9 plus 7 are you getting this i am taking this minus and t outside the bracket and in the bracket we have to add as our third term gives our uh, a hint of addition so we add these two terms okay then write the last term then multiply this minus t inside the bracket t square minus 90 minus plus minus 70 here Again, we are going to check this with this given term minus 9 minus 7 means minus 16 t. It means we are splitting it correctly. Once we splitted the middle term, we have to take common between in these two pairs. Okay. When we take common from here, what we will get? We have to take t as common and we are left with t here. And when we take t common from here we are left with 9 here we are taking minus 7 as common so we are left with as we take minus 7 as common so we are left with plus t here and minus plus minus 9 here so our these two brackets are same so the uh, the same bracket will be written once t minus 9 and our other bracket will be made by these two terms so t minus 7 will gives other bracket these are our two factors now we are we have to equate both of them with 0 according to 0 product property t minus 9 equals to 0 or t minus 7 equals to 0 from here we get t equals to minus sign will gives plus 9 here and t equals to plus 7 here so our answer is t equals to 9 or 7 here. The C part of question number 5. Multiply the, uh, first we have to multiply the coefficients. 1 multiply by 27. We have 27 as answer. And we have to find the factors for 27 here. 
when we find the factors for 27 we first divide with 3 we will get 9 here then again divide with 3 we we get 3 here 3 ones are 3 we have 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 equals to 27 as I explained you earlier that how to make its possible factors first take this separately and multiply the rest of the numbers 3 3 is a 9 here means 3 9 is a 27 here. this is our first factor then we have to take these two numbers separately and take the last number separately 3 3 is a 9 and 3 these two pair of factors are actually same we can take any of them to split the middle term once we got our factors we have to see the sign of the last term now here we have a minus sign so we have to split the term by subtraction write the first term as it is given take this u and plus common outside the bracket and inside the bracket you have to subtract the factors here our factors are 9 and 3 we first write the bigger number that is 9 here then put a minus sign then a smaller number never reverse the this operation okay never reverse this arrangement okay then write the last term then multiply this plus u with the, the bracket we will get plus 9u and plus minus 3u now it's time to check this splitted term plus 9u minus 3u what we will get we will get a plus 6u so these two gives the same answer once we splitted the middle term we have to take common between these two pairs okay our first pair is this and our second pair is this now take u as common u we are left with u here and from here when we take u common we are left with 9 from here we have to take minus 3 as common what we are left with we are left with u and from here as we take minus common so minus minus plus 27 when we take 3 common from 27 we have to divide 27 with 3 27 divided by 3 gives 9 here so these two brackets are exactly same take this bracket once and other bracket will be made by these two terms so u minus 3 is our second bracket these are two factors for equation we have to equate both of them with 0 according to 0 product property u plus 9 equals to 0 and u minus 3 equals to 0 from here we will get u equals to minus 9 or from here we will get u equals to 3 here okay so our answer is u equals to minus 9 or 3 this is our answer